What's up guys, welcome to Airsoft Ranking UK. Um, today I've got a quick little review for you. Um, this is the Wolf Eyes Raider um, that I had on my M15A4 tactical carbine in the video. And uh, I just want to go over this real quick. And I'll have another gun review up for you guys today as well. I'm going to do this one and then after this I'll film the other one. And I'll get that up to you guys. So anyways, this is what comes with it. It came in a larger box, but uh, it comes with smaller Wolf Eyes box. And uh, obviously this Wolf Eyes manual, Break the Darkness. Very nice manual. And very official. Every single different product they have. They've got the Defender series, the H4 series, E3, Eve 2. Uh, Explorer, M100, M300, etc. All that kind of stuff. They got the Raider in here as well. Very nice, prestigious box. Obviously, the Wolf Eyes symbol. Very nice. Wolf Eyes tactical light. So, when you open this thing up, got this texture to it. Comes with a pack full of stuff. So, the first thing you take out, it's got a little tools in it. It's got a uh, I'm not sure what it's called, Allen wrench, two little rubber things, and Velcro. I'll explain that in a second. Comes with the clamp to clamp to the barrel. Put that on in a second. Comes with the flashlight detached. Alright. Now, um, the flashlight. It need, it requires two, uh, three different types, uh, three batteries. Um, the battery type is something weird that you don't usually find. It's, uh, Lithium camera batteries that you can find, you know, everywhere. I found them at Boots, but uh, here, here's an example of what they look like. Pretty small. They're camera batteries, so they're, they're they might be a bit hard to find. Actually, it took me a little a little while. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna put these in here real quick. I think they go like this. It says plus. Don't know what that means. <clears throat> I know what plus means, but all right, let's just put them in there. Got a bit of cold. Screw this on. Screw it till it's nice and tight. All right, now here's your flashlight. Obviously, Wolf Eyes Raider series. Very nice, matte black. Very nice finish, pretty big light. Not LED, but um, the brightest non-LED I've seen. So if you press the presser pad, sorry if that blinds you, but I wanted to give you an idea. So the pressure pad is just, you know, normal pressure pad, really nice material, easy to press. Really simple to press. And then a string a cord here so you can stretch it out wherever you want. They also have a button back here if you want to keep it on. If you press that, it stays on. Press it, it stays off. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to apply it to the gun real quick just to show you guys how easy it is. Now here's your barrel and here's your clamp. Now you want to try and get it so the smaller part, the smaller part of the clamp is uh, going onto the barrel. The smaller part is up top. So. I'm just going to find where I put it before where I clamped it. I think it was about here. And then you... Oops. First you should get out your Allen wrench, actually. Actually. Alright. Get your Allen wrench out. Start screwing it in. Oops. Sorry, this is pretty boring for you guys. 
Um, today I have a review for you guys though of a gun, so you can be interested in that if you like to. And I, I won't do just gun reviews, I'll have accessories, um, I'll have magazine reviews, I'll have site reviews if you live in anywhere in local London. I, by the way, I bought this at Wolf Armories um, in, in uh, Camden Town, London. Uh, you can go to their website, wolfarmories.co.uk, and it's a great place. They got a lot of stuff. Pretty nice guys there, you know. Um, a lot of people in the UK would argue that they're not that great, but you know, they, they're okay. Service isn't as good as I can expect, but I'll explain that in another video. All right, it cost me fifty-four ninety-nine, fifty-four pounds ninety-nine pence, which in U.S. money is about one hundred and twenty dollars. It's quite expensive because the exchange rate is crappy right now. America's economy is failing. That's a different video. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But all right, that's pretty tight. Actually, just do it one more time. It slipped a bit. And all right, I'm sorry for that boringness there. All right, I use this flashlight for CQB usually. I don't really use it for woodland. I never play during the night a lot. I feed it. I just feed it through the, the sling right here, so it's just hanging out here, and I tape it to the foregrip, but I don't have any tape on me, so. Alright, now once it's in there, pressure pad, go around like that. It's pretty fun to do, pretty simple. Doesn't need much force. Uh, you can do this in a dark area, it looks really good. You know what, I'm just going to turn the lights off real quick so you can see it. Uh, actually, no. It's too bright outside. You still won't be able to see it. Anyways, um, this is the review of the Wolf, uh, Wolf Eyes Raider Series flashlight. Overall, really good. Really good uh, flashlight for the price. Wolf Eyes is a great company for flashlights. <clears throat> and uh, out of 10, I'd give this a 8. Uh, two because it's not uh, two off because it's not LED and it's not the brightest you can get and it's pretty expensive for not being so bright um, and because the velcro that comes with it doesn't really help at all you're supposed to use it to attach to the foregrip but it doesn't stick to the foregrip so I don't understand how that's how that's supposed to work and they don't have an instruction bo booklet that tells you what to do but besides that overall it's a really good device so thanks for watching